a major development in the probe into the Times Square terror suspect. Top White House officials now say they have evidence that Faisal Shahzad did not act alone and was in fact directed by the Pakistani Taliban. So what does this mean for the war against terror? We are joined by NYU professor and Mideast expert Patricia De Janeiro. She is a senior fellow at the World Policy Institute. Thank you so much for being here this morning. So let's start, you know, in what, eight or nine days we've gone from lone wolf mm -hmm. to ties to the Pakistani. Pakistani Taliban. Right. W what is your impression with all this? Well, I think at the beginning, most people thought this young man was on his own because of the incompetence, basically, and the crudeness of the device he put together and his mere lack of being coordinated. You know, he left his getaway keys in the car and those all those kinds of issues. But now that we've found out more about him, his background, where he comes from, and that previous to this bombing or this attempted bombing, he was in Pakistan for five plus months. So, so do you think that's like kind of a, a red alert that he was in Pakistan for the, all that time? Well, I, th I think it's a, it's a, it's, it needs, we need to revisit why people are responding to things once they're taking visits back home. And in fact, what we've also found out is that he was very upset having seen a lot of the drone bombings which are happening in the tribal centers there. And this was something he was very, very traumatized by. 35 plus have happened in the last month, which means two or so during a week. And these are quite devastating attacks. I mean, just hearing about bombings and really seeing the outcome mm. of what happens when they occur are two different things. I, I don't know much about the Pakistani Taliban, mm -hmm. but I mean, this guy, I mean, we had one guest on last week who called him the Bozo Bomber. I mean, <laughs> how, what kind of training was he getting, really? Well, I think it's evident that he wasn't getting very much training. And in this, you know, our law enforcement probably thinks this is very good news. But in fact, we don't want to see anybody going over there getting training. Usually the Taliban focuses within the context of where they are. The Pakistani Taliban in particular is focused on dismissing or removing the Pakistan government. So this kinds of incidents is definitely something new for us to see them. But it does tell us that these different factions within this area are working together. There are fingerprints of Al-Qaeda on this. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask you. What do, what do you think the link is between the Pakistani Taliban and Al-Qaeda? Well, we've been seeing this grow over the years. Al-Qaeda has been getting weaker, but they have been using their tactics or their training sense to help the Taliban fight with the Americans on their territory. Now because this man was able to cross borders, he was able to take some of this training and some of the money and bring it over here. Now I don't think he was really dedicated to what he was doing and that was pretty obvious by the way he put this together. So if, if Shahzad was directed by the Pakistani Taliban, Taliban mm -hmm. what does this say now? What do we need to do more to, so that we're protected here in, in our city, in our country? Well, it's time we really look at our policy as far as these drone bombings within the tribal areas. We know from history that nobody's ever been successful by fighting these particular you know, these particular Pakistanis are Afghan tribal areas or the people are the Pashtuns there. So I think we really need to start looking, re looking at our policy and go back to winning quote unquote hearts and minds and doing things and, and enabling the people to take control of their own life and make their life better for themselves. Patricia De Janeiro, professor um, from NYU, Middle East, East expert. Thank you so much for being here this morning and Thank breaking you. it down for us. Stay connected with MyFoxNY.com mobile. Download the iPhone app or text Fox 5 to 46988 for other devices. Local news, weather, and traffic on the go with MyFoxNY.com mobile.